Welcome to the Michigan Golfer Show. Join us each week as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great game. Hi, I'm Jack Berry, and I'm at the uh, Michigan uh, Golf Show out in uh, Novi. And fortunately today, stopping by was Lloyd Siren, who is a member of the Michigan Golf Hall of Fame. And that was in 2004, and uh, Lloyd was uh, a top golfer at uh, Notre Dame University and uh, won the Michigan Amateur Championship and has been giving it back to uh, golf uh, ever since. Thank you, Jack. Thank you very much. Uh, golf Hall of Fame was something I hadn't heard about until they called me up. And there's quite a few people right now, I think it's in the hundreds, that have been honored. And looking at the list, I know almost all of them, except for guys like Walter Hagen, who Tommy Armour, right. Watrous was on there and, uh, from the old school, and his son Tommy was my high school class team member when we won the state championship for Shrine High School. So Tommy and I grew up together, and both dads are golf pros. Yep. And that's uh, Tommy. They raise, they raise good sons. Yes, <laughs> and people that love golf. And Tommy passed away a few years ago, but uh, I'm still plugging away. But the uh, hog kept growing, and uh, they had a place in over on, on Big Beaver Road, but that sort of didn't make any money. <laughs> well, it was just uh, a, a place we wanted to have, the Michigan Golf Foundation wanted to have a, a spot uh, where we could uh, put all the mementos that we've received from uh, from the members and uh, what did you contribute to uh... well actually I went up to the visit a couple of years ago to see what they started and they were just going to break ground I don't know whether they broke well, they're getting close to it at, uh, okay fair state, state it's a beautiful location you, you sit on top of a hill and you look down and when you hit a ball off the driving range right there, it looks like it's going to go forever. <laughs> it's, it's going to be a beautiful location, and uh, it's, I don't, I didn't see any of our trophies that we gave. Well, we do. They they, they, they're they're in storage, and as soon as uh, as soon as the uh, university and, and the foundation uh, get uh, the final bucks together, why uh, we will have a, a place where they'll be they will be uh, d exhibited. So, so uh, we're looking we're looking forward to that. And uh, uh, actually, 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 I beat you in by two years, I think, something like that. <laughs> yeah. And uh, another sports writer is in the Hall of Fame Jack with us, Saylor. Jack Saylor. He went in with my class in '04. Right. Yep. I mean, and now I don't even think we have a sports writer just covering golf. Well, you guys did a great job. I don't know. All right. Well. The newspapers did, and the new yeah. newspapers virtually are gone. And uh, unfortunately, uh, they only the uh, two Detroit papers only seem to think about uh, the Lions, the Tigers, the Red Wings, and the Pistons, no matter how good or bad they are. And Michigan and Michigan State, and that's it. And they they've given up covering the lo covering local golf, covering everything local, really, of the of the all the different sports that uh, used to be covered back in. Back in the golden days, when I was uh, when I was working and enjoyed it, it's it's a far different game now. Game now. I really think there's a future for golf because these high school sports have become so expensive for kids to play that they can't afford it. My seven-year-old grandson is looking for a, a lacrosse helmet. He he's going to change every year. It's two hundred dollars. And, then, and the te team fees and everything else that they play, golf is still reasonable for anybody. Correct. I know at our place we have a junior membership for $250, and they can play all the golf they want. And it's just uh, not expensive if you don't ride. Right. And when, when we play golf, we never had carts. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should be walking anyway. I mean, I... Uh, Pontiac Country Club, you're not uh, up you know, and down mountains or anything, no. Uh, and it's a sport that all kids can play, 
And we have kids come out, and the only thing when they join the membership, we tell the parents, give your telephone number. If there's anything happens, you can hit it by golf ball or anything, we'll call you and let you know and take care of your kids for you. And well, you haven't had to call anybody yet. No, no, but uh, <laughs> we have a lot of wonderful kids who are playing golf. That's terrific, and that's uh, Lloyd Siren, who is uh, now a, is a uh, member of the Michigan Golf Hall of Fame and uh, is celebrating, just celebrated last year, the 50th anniversary of the Siren Memorial Tournament, which will be held again this year, the 51st, at uh, 4th of July on that holiday.